Is that one of those industrial water things which we can build? I'm too friggin' slow to join the minute, man. <laughs> so we've got here Diamond City Radio. Let's talk to this guy, shall we? <clears throat> Hi. There. Hey, Travis. Travis. Hey. I mean, I mean, I mean. Hi. Again. Uh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I I don't I don't uh okay. I usually don't <sighs> this is why. This is why. Why what? Hey Travis. Don't uh don't don't break my stuff if you uh, if you don't if you don't mind. This radio station, um well, <laughs> well uh you'll notice there aren't any other ones. So, uh, talk to Travis. you again. Hey, I mean, I mean, I mean, hi. Is that what you got to say? Again, uh, hi, hi. <sighs> You're a bit peculiar, aren't you? You know, three dog, that's for sure. Um, let's see, what have we got up here? Doctor, Doctor Cocker. That marvelous bone structure. Stop by the mega surgery sometime. Okay. I might do that, maybe. What were you doing back here? Why are you walking through the water? Taking a shortcut? I suppose you're a doctor, you can treat your radiation. Science center! Let's go in here and have a look around, shall we? Professor, I have a new theory about how the Institute makes the synths. Oh no. We've been talking about this, remember? After last time, the shouting, me sleeping on the cold floor of the lab for three nights. That was your choice. And seriously, growing synths from the ground using recombinant plant nuclei? I mean, how could they even? Ah-ha! Uh -huh. You do want to talk about it. Ah, uh, oh look, we have a visitor. Dr. Duff, dear, if you could bother them while I walk away from this conversation. Hi there. Are you here for today's free biology lesson? Um, biology lesson? Biology lesson? That's right. Usually the kids from the schoolhouse are the first to drop by, but I don't see why I can't start the lesson with you. Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. You have X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays, but which one are we most worried about? The one most associated with the big old bombs 200 years ago. Um. I don't know. I would say Alpha. Let's say. Alpha is the most. Is alpha radiation. Alpha, alpha waves. I know just how that feels. Alpha rays can do the most damage, but they can't travel very far. And then gamma rays could travel the furthest, but do the least amount of damage. I think something like that. Gamma rays. Gamma rays. That's right. Now gamma rays are bad, really bad. If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. But some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for <coughs> two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? Uh, what's adapted? What kinds of things have adapted to radiation? Oh, that's the perfect segue into the field trip portion of the lesson. Are you ready? Uh, field trip? Field trip? That's right. You go out, do some science of your own, and come back. I usually have a prize for the best junior scientist, which I guess is just automatically going to you. What do you say? Um, okay. Sign me up. You're gonna go out and find a bloat fly gland. You see, the oversized bloat fly of today evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique gland that enables it to balance and maintain speed despite its size. So what do you say? Ready to go out and dissect one? Um, already have it. I think I have something already. That a boy? Who's 
my favorite junior scientist. You are. Here's a little something for you. Don't spend it all in one place. So is this the same as um, what's the name in Megaton? Is it Carlotta or something like that? You can send you out little things. And you get money and stim packs and stuff like that. Let's talk to you, Professor Scara. Doctor Duff handles all the visitors. Bother her. We. There's my junior scientist. Hope you're continuing your own biological field work. Hey, Dr. Duff. Did you know in chemistry you should never mix a base into an acidic compound? <laughs> Lost a few eyebrows that way, I'll tell you. Anything else? Destroyed the world, but without it, Diamond City wouldn't have. Okay, so it's not like Carlotta. It's just the one thing then. I'm pretty sure her name was Carlotta, the trader. Gives you the schematics to build the rocket launcher. Diamond City surplus is where you can sell all those scraps you've scavenged. Okay, so we were heading this way. So let's head this way then. We got here. Uh, Doctor Sun's house. It's locked. Someone's house. Can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout in, and that's the booze. Man's yeah, gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. Let's go in here, shall we? Talk to these people. Madame, I need to talk. Just a minute, Yeti. I am in middle of stone. So then, I am crossing no. this, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters. A mire lurk! A mire lurk! Come on! That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. Madame! I forgot you were there, Yeti. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. I could talk to you first. Oh, customer. Need a room? Um. What's the story with this place? Not much to say. We sell food, drink, and rooms. Mainly for traders that come to the area. My brother Vadim runs the bar. Scarlet's our waitress, and she helps me keep the rooms clean. As much as they can be. <laughs> uh, not interested. Not today. Well, it's vacant if you ever need it. Let's talk to Jesus you. Bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid, I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. Um... This your bar? So this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, okay, I'll bother. A few minutes to browse. Good. Good. That's what you got to sell. Um, Few bits and bobs. What else we got here? We got. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't heard nothing. Hi there. You can order drinks and food here or at the bar. Um. Who's the owner? Who owns this bar anyway? The Bobrov brothers picked this place up a few years ago. Uh, the Dean Bobrov is the loud one. Yefim Bobrov is the quiet one. And I'm the one that has to listen to them argue with each other all day. Uh, barter. Let's see what you have. Everything's cooked or brewed here. I think it's pretty much exactly the same, isn't it? Residence. Um, not much around here. That's stuff for my house, isn't it? Well, maybe it was like putting this bar as well. Um, yeah, let's just leave here, I think. Resident. Hawthorne. <coughs> hey, what's your story? Mercenary, caravan guard. Um, general, neither. Wrong on both tries. Hmm. I can usually spot a higher gun on the first look. Maybe you just give off an armed and dangerous vibe. Anyway, I'm just kicking back and sharing stories while I'm between things. I've been all over, seen vaults, pre-war ruins, and plenty of monsters. Uh, what vaults have you seen? You've been to a vault? Yeah. Ever heard of Vault 81? 
They're standoffish, but every once in a while, they'll let new people in. Map updated. Uh, monsters. Let's hear your best monster story. I'm from Diamond City. You want to talk something really scary? It's the Institute in their sense. Don't go to University Point. Trust me. You don't want to know what they're capable of. Map updated. Um, Pre-war ruins. So you explore old ruins? Last place I was going to check out was Salem. Real old town farther to north. Never made it though. Got a bad feeling about that area. Uh, okay. See you around, Hawthorne. Yeah. Take it easy. Goodbye. Activate. <laughs> Let's give it another try, shall we? Want to get that? Looks yummy. Uh, too small for the plate. Yeah, let's go out here. There's a lot to explore out here, isn't there? You're still eating. What? I'm busy. Um, who are you? Bully. Hey, Scabber. Got plenty of ramen meat on the. Um, Brahmin meat. Wait, what kind of meat is this? You never heard of Brahmin? Big, dumb, got four legs and two heads. They're the only cattle around. Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes we get weird stuff from the caravans, too. Um, weird stuff? Weird stuff? Weirder than two headed cow meat? Yeah, Prince Charming. Weirder than that. Mirelurk bloat flies, rad stags. Well, protein, right? Ain't like you can be picky in the Commonwealth. Uh, let's part to see what I you have. A few minutes to browse. Check out these cuts. Um, there's lots of meat, basically. Okay. Um, there's so much to see around here. Public occurrences. Damn sense could be anywhere. Um. Yeah. Officer, you look a little roughed up. Should talk to Doc Crocker over at the Mega Surgery Center. Nah, I'm alright. Resident. Um, swatter. What's a swatter? <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet and play a game called baseball. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats. <laughs> and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Um, That's not baseball. Look, dumbass, that's not how baseball was played. That yeah, right, Mr. Smarty Pants? Yeah, if you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? Um, you're an expert. America's passed on actual rules. There were balls, strikes, three bases, and home runs. You kept score by how many runners made it to home plate. I like my version better. Now, can I interest you in these genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatters? Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> I've got a few minutes to browse. A swatter never runs out of bullets. Very true. Um, so we've got a barred one, barred red and black. Uh, baseball cap, baseball glove. Good for leather. Three leather each. That's not bad at all, actually. Baseball grenade. Brilliant. Um, baseball bat. Mahogany. Ooh. Mahogany. 40% less action point cost. That's pretty good. Shoot in a wood. Cork. <laughs> so thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a Nuka Cola. Let's talk to you. Hey, Sheffield. Cola. Nuka Cola. Nuka Cola. I haven't got any then, I take it. Um. Hey. 
You're the new guy, right? Yep. New guy? The new guy? Word kind of travels <coughs> fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. Um, you know weapons? So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. Um, Potter. I've got a few minutes to browse. Let's Something see what you've got. Everyone. Uh, anything with a star on it? Because they seem to be the good ones. Uh, Old Faithful. The double damage if the target is at full health. Nice. Um, left arm guard. Protection against humans and super mutants. Um, railway spikes. Night vision, heavy pipe sniper rifle. Blimey. Muffled fiberglass combat armor, right leg. <laughs> um, all sorts, isn't you? Ooh. Shoots an additional projectile. Big boy. That's a mini nuke launcher. Bayoneted calibrated sniper rifle. That's an actual, actual sniper rifle, not a hunting rifle. Interesting. Um, do you like sniper rifles? Leave that for now, though. Resident, resident. You? I don't know you. Just keep your distance. I'm a synth. Why? Why? <laughs> because I don't know you, and I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. So are you? Human? Uh, what's a synth? Synth? What's a synth? A synth, as in synthetic person. Those things the Institute makes. Look real, with hair and sweat and blood and everything. So, are you human or not? Um, I'm human. Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? Right. <laughs> we can do business, but no funny stuff. Um, you said what? What kind of business you run in here anyway? We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. At least I know he's a machine. <laughs> no thanks. I don't need anything. Remember, we don't serve sins. Racist. <laughs> um... Who are you? Resident. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. What? Takahashi. Um. Tell me a joke. <laughs> what? What are you saying? Tell me a joke. Yes. Yes. Uh, noodle cup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's an eye box, isn't it? You keep looking at me like that. I'm gonna start thinking you're sick. Uh, uh. <laughs> um, where haven't we been? Got everything you could need. Medics, mint. You do drugs. Home plate again. Home plate requires key. Okay, we've done the ground level mostly, I think. And you've got the stools, is that them up there? Park the car in the yard. How about I hammer you in the heart with a haymaker? What the? On your home. Read the public. Let's go Find talk to them. the mayor, shall we? He should be up here. <clears throat> mayor, this way. And then this way. Uh, cool elevator button. Oh, elevator button. Going up. This is where the rich live, is it? Let's go up here. Um, talk to you. Mayor's in no mood. 
to talk about any of this synth nonsense. Unless you're looking for a housing permit, I can't help you. Uh, housing permit. Well, let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. Um, uh, maybe. Oh, details. Tell me more about this house. The previous owner bought an adjacent warehouse and knocked down a few walls, so it's bigger than most. And he left behind his old tools, so you'll have everything you need to modify the inside however you see fit. Uh, maybe. Let me think it over. Take all the time you need. Is it about Geneva. work? Need something, honey? Housing permit? Looking for a job? Uh, since. Wait. What was that about since? Oh, no. I'm not saying anything. I like my job, thank you very much. Who are you? And you are? Geneva, the mayor's secretary. I handle all the day-to-day. -day. Work. I'm looking for work. Mercenary type? We usually have a few open bounties. Just check the wanted posters in the market. Check out wanted poster. Okay. Uh, leave. I don't need anything. Catch you later, then. And you. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? There he is. Excuse me, but I'm very busy right now. What, looking out the window, go, uh, busy window. <laughs> so where do these other people live? Um. What is that? Oh, it's one of those, it's complete one. There's a lion. Galaxy News Network. Ah, oh, brilliant. Has he been there then? Um, not much around here, is there? <coughs> Let's go this way. Uh, should we go down the elevator? No, it's not. Ooh, found the radio thingy. Um, I'm not going to jump. I'm going to press the button. No, dog meat. You have to go down the lift, I'm afraid. Aww. <laughs> You're going down the lift. You're going to race me. Yeah, let's jump over this. Um, okay, so go up that way there. That's nothing there. What have we got here? You read that article? Public occurrences? Damn synths could be anything. Anything for an understand, yes. This is what I like about you, Wellingham. You were not trying to be anything other than helpful. I do not like those people down there. Lower field workers always want what they haven't earned. Oh, astute observation, sir. I need just to freshen your glass again. Thank you, Mike. I may have been programmed to serve, but in your case, I shall do so disdainfully. Let me know when you're ready to order. Uh, Barter. See what you got. Our menu. If you can understand it. She saw any. Oh, I don't object to you outsiders coming up here, but. Okay. You don't like me as I am now, but if I put on, if I still got my tuxedo, I don't think I do. Uh, padded blue jacket, um, uh, newsboy cap, dress, no, I've got no smart clothes. Stop speaking to me. <clears throat> Just remain quiet while you're up here. We get enough noise from the riffraff down below. Uh, I want to put a bullet between your eyes. We've got these residences don't look very nice, they look a bit cramped. Okay, so we've got tap house. Let's go in here. Clean your tap house. Come on, Darcy. Let's go. Take it easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Give <laughs> me another drink, Henry. Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home. Later. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. 
You keep away from my wife, goddammit. You'd better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch. Don't hurt him, Henry. Oi. Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy, taking care of our son. You're busy. Talk to you. You're busy. Busy. Mrs. Codman. You're bothering me again? Yep. <clears throat> Are you lost? Nope. Hi. Why, hello there. So lovely to see more young people up here in the stands. We're all so, well, old. <laughs> Sorry I had to see that. Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink, if you're buying. Um, argument? What was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time, and her husband Paul doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up. I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there! I haven't seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? Um. Come here often? You come here often? As often as I can. Henry is so good at listening to my troubles. Troubles? What would you know about that? Now, you need to order anything? Um, this your place? So is this your place? That's right. Owner, bartender, sympathetic ear. I try to provide a little oasis from the hardships of life. Name's Cook, by the way. Henry Cook. Let me know if I can get you anything. No, it's Bart with you. Sure. Bottoms up. Mm, shotgun shells, purified water, wine, whiskey, lager, brew. Okay. Talk to you. Hey there. Now here is where you want to be. Anyone who's anyone drinks here. <laughs> okay. Diamond City. Where'd the other guy go? Hey, I think those Bobrov brothers are looking for you. Who? Talk to the Bobrov brothers. Uh, journal. Talk to the Bobrov brothers. Um. Uh, local map. Let's go. Data. Unlikely Valentine. So I want to go down this way here. You cause trouble. There's gonna be trouble. Yeah, I'll just shoot in the face. In here? <laughs> Why are you guys looking for me? I thought you were in here, but apparently not. Oh, here we go. Quiet, you. All right, you. Tell me. Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. Um, what's the issue? So, what's the issue? Have you not listened? This DJ Travis, he's terrible. Makes me want to go back in time and prevent radio from ever being invented. But, him, it's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Uh... Serious? Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. All right, that's enough. But him isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. What's really going on? Okay, what's really going on here? Sorry, we were just joking around a bit. <laughs> it, it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yet him and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job. Or anything else, really. 
and so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Um. Actually trying? So are you actually trying to do something about it? I tell you, teams that I have planned. He does not believe. You, you and I work on plan. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Okay. If we can get a better radio, that would be... Such a confidence man. If you don't live here, you ain't nobody. Got it? Busy here. I've got my own town, thanks. I'll take your order whenever you're Okay, we're going to the back room. Okay. Let us get down to brass tacks. I am okay. glad you are willing to help. Unlike my dead beat brothers. <laughs> Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. He seems like a nice guy. Um Details. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ever been in bar fight? Um. Yes. I haven't met a man I couldn't lay out. Excellent, because you are going to help Travis win his first fight. Uh, I want to stage fight here in dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? Um, how does that work? How would something like that even work? It makes sense. I promise. I have contacts. People I can count on. Real top looking. But they will take a dive for money. They confront Travis here at Dugger. You step in and he kills who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And... Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? Um. Why involve me? Why involve me in this? You have seen Travis, yes? <laughs> he cannot fight alone. Not even fake one. He needs help. You can help. Yeah, it's too late today for me to arrange. You come back tomorrow evening after six o'clock, and everything will be ready. <laughs> Thank you.